morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners. From wherever you have tuned into this channel, all over the world. Welcome to Verdict TV. The news headline I will advise Tinubu do, to do to IPO what Yara Dual did to Niger Delta militants during his tenure. Amma Cherry says, You're welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to this channel. But kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates to the news details. Carefully listen to the end. Dennis Amatre, former deputy director, DSS, talked with the media about the security issues in Nigeria. While he was talking with the media, he said that the security of Nigeria should be taken should not be taken for granted. The new government should do a best to tackle insecurity in Nigeria. Dennis Amatri said, I will advise Bola Tinumbu to do to hype up what Yaradwa did to Niger Delta militants in Nigeria when he was the president of Nigeria while he was still alive. The Niger Delta militants were disturbing Nigeria at that time, pardon, and Yaradwa did not keep quiet about the situation he acted. The IPOP are also causing some problems in Nigeria, which everyone knows about, and I want Tinubu to act about it. When Yaradwa was the president of Nigeria, he called the Niger Delta militants together and dialogued with them, asking them what they want from the federal government and how their problems can be solved. Javadwa and the militants sat together to talk. So, Tinubu should do the same with the IPOB. Call them together and ask them what they want from the federal government and promise them that their problems will be looked into. Sit down and dialogue with them. It will go a long way in reducing security problems in Nigeria. Concerning Mazunam Dikano, who is the IPOP leader, remember that during the administration of the former president, Momodou Buhari, governors had called on president, former president Buhari to have a talk, to dialogue, that is the only dialogue that can solve the issue of IPOP. But Buhari turned deaf ears to it. Now, Tinubu is now the president, is the one that can talk to now. So, Dennis Amatri said that the way Yaradwa, late Yaradwa, did during the Niger Delta militant, what he did to the Niger Delta militant in Nigeria, when he was the president, the same thing Tinubu, President Tinubu should do. And what he did, it, what did President Tinubu, eh, pardon, Yaradwa did? He actually dialogued. He called on all the Niger Delta militants. He dialogued with them and he asked them what they want from the federal government and how their problems can be solved. Because with the way the agitation is going on and Mazunam Dikano is still in custody, if the IPOP are not called on dialogue, they will still continue with their agitation and nothing will be solved. So, this is a good advice to President Tinubu in which he needs to look into if he wants the peaceful IPUB to, to stop the agitation. He needs to dialogue with them, talk heart to heart, sit them down, sit with them, have discussions, make them know, ask them what they want for the federal government, ask them the problems in which the federal government needs to look into, how the federal government can come into them. So into into the, what the agitation, and they will solve it, and also we bring an end to IPOP agitation. So let us look at some comments. 
Okoyonko says, suggest also how Tinubu should solve Odudura Republic agitations in Yoruba. And Boko Haram killings, its men killings, bandit killings in notes. Guest says, IPOP is a terrorist group and it's not useful to the nation anytime. Unlike Niger Delta bo- boys asking for their rights over the oil that give Nigeria a sole income. Falabi says, please, on what basis will President Tinumbu negotiate with IPOP, Biafraud, and Obedience? Let them continue to fool themselves if they like. They can tell their people stay at home Monday, Tuesday, even a week. They are free. Tochuku says, You are kidding. IPOP are demanding for referendum, not amnesty tag, because they are not terrorist groups, but freedom fighters through peaceful methods. So, the people are not actually supporting what Dennis is saying. That's IPOP are freedom fighters and they are not terrorists so why the why why the dialogue but i feel this is a good thing what's the dialogue with them and this will actually lead to the release of the ipub leader mazunam dekanu wait on the custody of the dss if i end says tinubu will never and can never do such to ipub let them continue killing themselves who cares Issue of Niger Delta is just too different from IPOP. Niger Delta are fighting for their land and water being destroyed by oil companies. That's their reason for fighting. What's the reason for IPOP? Please, Mr. Amatri, if you can answer this, let them continue slaughtering themselves. After all, they claim to get sense and powerful. God chosen people indeed. God chosen people with bad attitudes everywhere in the world. God chosen people with records of criminality everywhere in the world. God chosen people with wickedness. God chosen people with killing and eating human flesh. God chosen people with selling hard drugs worldwide. God chosen people with destroying anywhere they go like pigs. God chosen people with empty proud. God chosen people with arrogance and highest level of illiteracy. God chosen people indeed. So, they're saying that the fight of the Niger Delta is different from the IPOP. The IPOP are actually fighting for a state of Biafra, while the Niger Delta militants are actually fighting for their land, whereby oil wants to destroy their lands and their waters. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view concerning what Dennis Amatri says? Please share your view in the comment section.